Louise. I'm going to be your trainer to take you to 30 minutes of exercise. We're going to be working those glutes. We're going to be working the legs, the arms, and the abs. So after you've done with me, after 30 minutes, you're going to feel amazing. Okay, you ready to get going? Awesome. Let's start with a nice little light warm up. I just want you to jog on the spot. Super important that we get our heart rate up, start our muscles working before we go into any exercise. Okay, you feeling good? Feeling raring to go? Okay, give me some booty kickers. Breathe, inhaling and exhaling. Super important because we want to get the oxygen to the muscles. That's going to keep our muscles keep working and allow us to work out for longer. Give me some star jumps. I'm feeling pumped today. You know, exercise just makes me feel amazing. It makes me feel on top of the world. Once I've done an awesome workout, I feel great. I'm going to be here today to motivate you to get you through the whole workout. Okay, take it back into a nice jog for me. And let's stretch out. Starting with our quads, one leg at a time. Squeeze those legs together. If you need to hold onto a wall, or if you've got a friend with you, it's even better. You can use each other for support. And hold that there. And let's swap over onto the other leg. And breathe. Okay, now I want you to put one leg across the other and just stretch down. This is going to stretch out your glutes. So keep that chest up. I'm just going to hold each stretch for about 10, 12 seconds. And change over to the other leg. Breathe in and exhale. Oh, I'm super excited. We're going to get so pumped up. Our body is going to be looking amazing once I finish with you. Let's just work on our arms. So a few circles. Up we go. Bring it forward. And out to the side. Just a few backwards, anti-clockwise, and then forwards. Chest up. Back nice and straight. Wiggle those legs out. And let's get ready to go. First exercise. I'm down to the ground. I want you to get into a plank position. Your legs are going to be about hip width apart. And we're going to row up and down for 12. So you're going to really make sure that all the weight is on that left arm. And if you want to increase this or make it harder, you can use weight. So engage those ab muscles. Make sure that you're nice and still, no movement. Four, three, two, one. Okay, the other side. We're gonna just row it up. Keep that spine nice and neutral. Put your head just slightly, look slightly in front of your hands. And engage that core. Excellent start, everyone. Stay strong. And down. Up we go. Three. Okay, down onto your stomachs. We are going to put your legs a little bit further than hip width apart, and we're just gonna pull the legs up. We're gonna squeeze and down. Everything is just gonna be for 12 reps. So keeping ourselves motivated, using all our body. We're gonna be working our arms, our legs, our abs, our booty. Breathe, squeeze those glutes together. And up you go. Come on, guys, you can do this. You're gonna feel the burn. Five, four, three, squeeze even harder. Two, and make this last one count. One, onto your side. I want you to come up into a side plank. The arm is gonna be up in the air. I want you to really pull up using those oblique muscles. I just want you to bring your knee to your chest. If you're finding this too challenging, then all you have to do is just hold it here. But I think you can push yourself. I think you can do this. In fact, I know you can do this. So even if you just manage two, manage three, each time you do it, you're gonna get better and better. I started off, I couldn't even do this at all. I couldn't even hold it for a second. And there you go. One more. Switch over to the other side. Up you come. Make sure you get yourself nice and comfortable and in support first. And then just bring that knee the chest. Pull these abs in. These oblique muscles here, you're really working. We've got it nice, slow.
slow and controlled. Make sure your posture's right. And breathe. Come on, guys, we can do this. Do it together. That's it, bring that knee in. Four, three, two, and give me one more. And extend out, drop that bottom down. I want you to come up to standing. Your leg is gonna go out to the side. We're gonna do one leg squat. So really using our glutes and the quads, to strengthening up those leg muscles. We're gonna go down for 12. Now really focus on something that's in front of you. That's gonna help with your balance. So I'm guys, I'm staring at you. You guys just stare back at me and we've got this. Breathe. Good job everyone. Five. Four. Three. Two. Can you feel the burn? One. Straight over onto that other leg. And let's go down. Now this workout we're gonna be doing is we're gonna be doing one for our arms, one for our legs, one for our butt, one for each exercise, each body part, and then we're gonna move on and do it all over again. I'm also gonna give you a power one as well. So it's really gonna increase your cardio and intensify the workout. Three, two, oh, I can feel the burn in my butt. One, okay, little shake. I want you to go straight into it. We're gonna do high skips. So, one, two, 12 of these. See how high you can jump. Give it to me higher. Really spring off those feet. You're gonna be improving your leg muscles. We're gonna be doing some plyometrics. Give me one more. Awesome start, everybody. That's our first set out of the way. We've got seven of these to just give your legs a shake. I'm gonna hydrate because number one when you're working out is hydration. Obviously, we sweat loads. Where does that sweat go? It just comes out of our body. We need to replenish it. So. Make sure you've got some hydration nearby and keep yourself going. Oh, ready for set number two. Come down to the ground. We're gonna be doing narrow push-ups. So you can either do it with your knees on the ground or you can come up to your toes. Your hands are gonna be shoulder width apart. We're gonna go down and up. Keep your chest up. We've just got 12. You can do this. Remember, if you need to come down to your knees, then you can, or just to give me, give me three, give me five, however many you can do, it's a start. You're just gonna really increase those arm muscles and you're gonna get better each time. Come on guys, you've got this. Push yourself, see what your body can do. I know you can do it. That's it guys, come on, just a few more. You're over halfway, five, four, Three, that's it, two more, two. And the last one, keep those elbows into your waist. That's a good one. I'm feeling it, feeling it in my triceps. Coming down, I want you to put your legs over to one side. Doesn't matter which side, whichever one feels comfortable to start with. We are gonna do side oblique crunches. So your hands are gonna be behind your head and we just want to squeeze up and really activate these obliques here, okay? So we've got 12 on each side. I want you to come up as high as you can. And as you come up, you're gonna exhale. Because I'll tell you what, talking from experience, if you don't breathe when you're exercising, you stand up and you can become really dizzy. And that's why some people, if they're not eating the right amount of food or they're not eating the right food, and then they exercise and they're not breathing, you're gonna feel a bit dizzy and a bit sick. Right, other side. The other side you started on, let's go to the other one. And up. So I can feel it in my obliques. Really squeeze. Use the oblique muscles to bring you up. Don't use your hands for momentum. Are we feeling good? You feeling like your heart rate is up? Awesome job, everyone. Let's keep it going. Four, three, two, Okay, squeeze that last one and bring it up. I want you to come onto your front. So your hands are gonna be underneath your shoulders and we're gonna extend one leg out at a time. That's gonna be one rep. And then we're gonna change over to the other side. So just want you to follow your eyes with your hand, straightening it out, 
action. Keeping those abs tucked in, pulled in. Keep that leg nice and straight as you go to the back. And extend that leg out. Hold it there and bring it in. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. Extend. Engage those abs. It's going to be great for your balance. As well, squeezing those glutes as you come up to the top. Keep it going, everyone. Let's give me four, three, two, and one. Okay, we've warmed up those glutes. We're going to come back over and we're going to push it even further. So I want you to extend your right leg up. Your arms are going to be out to the side. And we're going to bridge raise up and down. No touching the ground, okay? We're going to make it really hard. Just come up and down, nice and slowly. Squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Come on, squeeze them harder. However hard you're squeezing it right now, I want you to squeeze it 50 times harder. And breathe. Four, three, two, and one. Can you feel the burn? It switch it straight over to the other leg. Got your left leg up, we're gonna go up and down. Now really concentrate about using your abs and bringing your pelvis up to the ceiling. You can have your arms out to the sides, but don't use the floor to grip with. I just want you to really think about using your glutes and this is what's going to feel the burn. You should be feeling the burn, so really squeeze as you get to the top. Keep it going everyone. Just a few more. Three, two, and your last one and come down. Okay, you've got your next power move. Up you jump. Okay, now we're gonna do everyone's favorite burpees. So a big jump up, we need to come down, legs back, and then bring it back up again. We have 12. Come on guys, we can do this. Keep working hard. I know you don't like it, but it's just 12. In fact, you've got less than 12 to go. Jump nice and high. Extend those legs so they go straight. Make sure that your posture is right when you get into this position. Just think, after you've done this workout, you're gonna feel amazing. Keep it going, guys. Power. This is what's gonna improve your legs, tone you up. The fat burpees tone up your whole body. This is a great workout to do. Give me two more. Jump. Last one. One. Okay, excellent job. We're going to come down to the floor. We're going to work those arms. Okay, so you can either have your legs up or you can bring your knees down to the ground. But even if you can just do five, it's great to start with your toes onto the ground. So what we're going to do, we're going to do 12 push-ups. And we're going to lift the leg. That's one. Two. Really squeeze those legs as you get up to the top. You're going to work in those glutes and you're working the arms. Keep it going. You've got 12 of these. You can do it. And remember, anytime you need to, you can just come down to the ground. Don't put your knees on the ground. You just want it just in front of your knees. And you can keep doing push-ups just like this. As long as you're moving your body, you're going to be working. Give me two more. And the last one. OK, stay in this position. We're going to be working our abs. So I want you to extend those arms in front of you. And you're just going to lift up and you're going to come down. So use those obliques, those ab muscles, to bring you up. Don't use the momentum of your arm. And just inhale and exhale. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. I know it's tough, but just think of the rewards. You're going to feel so amazing afterwards. Up we go. That's it. Good job, everyone. Three, two. Come up even higher for the last one. And down, okay. Come up to standing. You're doing so good, everyone. Awesome job. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna do some squats, but we're gonna turn it to the back and then come to the front. So we just squat down, come up, and squat. So keep changing. See if you can get even lower. Each squat you do, you're gonna become lower and lower. And this is gonna really improve those glute muscles. You're gonna be working the quads. Good guys, you're doing amazing. Keep it going. Squeeze. Give me two more. And the last one. And come up. Okay, 
give those legs a bit of a shake. Remember what I told you at the beginning? Super important to keep yourself hydrated. We sweat a lot when we exercise, so we need to give our body back everything it needs so that we can work efficiently. Hydration, guys, number one. Okay, let's work those triceps, coming down to the ground. It's a lot of moving up and down, but remember, we're burning even more calories. So what I want you to do, up here, you're gonna extend one leg out in front of you. We've got 12 dips. Squeeze those elbows to come into your waist, in towards your body. And then push that pelvis all the way up to the sky. You've got this, guys. I know you can do it. Just keep pushing yourself. See what your body can do. And breathe. Four, three, two, one. And you've guessed it. We're going to do it on the other leg as well. Down we go. Twelve again. Now each exercise, we're just doing for twelve reps. So you can really keep yourself motivated. You've only got twelve to do, and then we get to change on to the next exercise. That's pretty awesome. Four, three, two, and give me one more. Okay, stay here. Okay, so we're gonna be working those abs next. We want our chest up, and we're gonna extend the legs out and together. Now we're gonna be working this lower pooch, okay? This is so hard to work out, and it's everybody's problem area. But remember, abs are made in the kitchen. 80% of what you look and feel like is down to nutrition. So super important to have a good diet and get those exercises in too. Breathe, come on, bring it in. Bring those knees into the chest. Squeeze, three, two, and give me one more. Okay, up we come to standing. Now, we did those squats this way, we're now gonna do it to the left. Or if you side on the left, we're now gonna do it to the right. We wanna make sure that when we do a body part, we always do the opposite side so we don't become lopsided. Okay, so we're gonna squat down, you're gonna go across and squat. You have 12, again. Get nice and low. See if you can get lower than you did before. Breathe. Down you go, come on guys, keep it going. Squeeze, three, two, last one, down you go. Okay, still gonna work with these legs. I want you to get nice and low, get a nice bend in your knee. And we're just gonna kick out to the side. So you've got 12. Try and get your leg nice and high. Keep your body pulled in. Your arms can just be in front of your face. And then kick to the side. Use that core stability. Three. Two, come on, one more. Give it some aggression. One. Now remember, one leg is always gonna be easier than the other. Give me some power. Really go on, give me some aggression, go for it. Five, four, three, two, one. Okay, now our power move. We're gonna be going into some star jumps. What do you call them here, jumping jacks? Let's go for 12. See if we can do them nice and quickly. Four, five, seven, eight. You got this, nine, 10, 11, 12. And just give your legs a wobble. Okay, come down to the ground. I want you to get into that plank position. You're gonna bring the knee in, you're gonna bring it out to the side, and you're gonna bring it across. Now that is one rep. We have 12. So keep your stomach nice and pulled in to the chest, out to the side, and then across your body. We're working our legs, working our abs, and our arms, so great total body workout. Come on guys, keep it going. Bring that leg out and straight across. See if you can bring that knee slightly higher to the chest. Five to go. Breathing, super important. We don't wanna get dizzy when we stand up, so inhaling and exhaling. Breathe. Give me one more. Bring it in, out, and then across. Okay, flipping over. I want you to hold like we did the similar position to the crunches here, and we're gonna do 12. One, two. Open that chest up. Feel those abs working. If you can, go further back. Test yourself. See what your abs can do. Breathe. Come on, guys. Keep it going. No pain, no gain. Three, two. 
Okay, flipping over. We're going to work that booty. So fire hydrants. Keep your hands underneath your shoulders. We're going to extend the leg out to the side and back in. I don't want you to rest that knee on the ground, but I want you to really think about engaging those glute muscles. The slower you do it, the harder it's going to be. And if you want to, if you have at home, you can use ankle weights. This is going to increase the resistance. It's just going to maximize your workout even more. So squeeze those glute muscles. Use the glutes to bring your legs up. Other side, squeezing up and down. Come on guys, we've got this. Keep it going. Breathe. Keep counting with me if you need to. Keep those arms nice and straight. Using the glutes to bring your leg up, not using your leg. Excellent job, guys. Three, two, one. Let's bring yourself up. We're going to be working our legs and our obliques, okay? So this is a great workout. It's going to combat two areas. Up nice and tall, we're going to lunge down, we're going to twist to the side and we're going to come up. We're going to do it all to the right first and then all to the left. Come nice and low in the lunge and as you come up to the top, really squeeze your obliques. Come on guys, you can do it. Keep pushing through. You're already over halfway through your workout. Just half an hour each day. Every other day, you're really going to see the improvements. So stay with it. Stay the course. Breathe. Three. Give me two more. See if you can get even lower with that knee onto the ground. And the other side. Down you go. Twist the body. You're going to find again the one leg is easier than the other. When you come down, bring that knee even closer. Twist. Bring it back up. Good job, everyone. Keep it going. I'm proud of you. You're doing good. Just stay with me. Can you feel the burn in your booty? I can certainly can. See if you can twist even more. Four. Three. Two more. Make these ones count. If you lose your wobble, it doesn't matter. Just pick up from where you were. Keep your body moving. Give me one more. Push up and squeeze those glutes. Okay, I'm getting hot and sweaty, so always need to hydrate. You gotta keep your hydration level up because it's super important to keep your body working efficiently. Next power move, we're gonna do split jumps. So we have 12, one, two, nice and low. Use your legs to spring you up. Come on, jump higher. Breathe. Come on, keep it going. Last one. Okay, your next exercise. Remember we did the plank with our right leg. We're now gonna change over to our left. So we're gonna bring it in, out, and across. 12 again. Now if you've done one leg, which you should have done, you have to do the other leg. So work even harder, because you're going to find that if you don't, one leg is going to be feeling much more muscly and sore than the other. Adjust yourself if you need to, and bring that knee higher. Come on, see if you can bring the knee higher towards your chest. Great job, everyone. Keep it going. It's so nearly there. Don't give up now. Two more. One. And the last one. And let's work on those abs. Bring it all the way across and gently come down. And before we go into the abs, we're going to give a nice stretch out. Open up those shoulders. And just take a moment. Inhale and exhale. Okay, let's switch over onto our booties. You're going to come down onto your back. Arms just by your head, by your, your hands, by your ears, and you're gonna come up. You're gonna have to adjust your feet on the first one. You're gonna twist, and you're gonna come down. So, almost like you're saving a goal. This is how I like to think it, as if I'm a goalie. So you can push your arms out to the sides, like you're saving a goal. Or, 
If you like basketball, you're throwing a basketball. Whichever sport you want, we can link it in. Just 12 of these guys. Come on, squeeze those abs. Bring it up. Give me two more. Last one. And nice and slowly, bring it down. The slower you do it, the more intense your abs are gonna feel. Okay, one of my favorite exercises, I'm gonna be working our glutes, because I'm really trying to improve mine right now. So these exercises are definitely gonna help you too. So we're gonna bring our leg to our chest and then extend it all the way out. Keep your abs nice and pulled in. Keep those arms straight. Just think how good your booty's gonna look in those shorts. Once you just keep doing this workout, you really are going to maximize your results by keep on working hard. Great job, everyone. Three. Bring that knee all the way to the chest. Last one. Okay, hold it here. I want you to pulse for 12. So we've been warming up those glutes, and then this additional pulse really just increases that burn we can feel in the booty. Two more. Ready to go to the next side? Let's go. One. Now, just take a moment. Think about what your abs are doing. Are you pulled in? Are your arms straight? Is your leg straight when you go to the back? Is your knee coming as close to the chest as you can? If you only got half an hour a day to exercise, you want to make sure that what you're doing is really improving yourself. So make sure you're making each move count. Three, two, last one, and let's pulse. 12, 11, 10, squeeze those glutes. Come on, guys, open that chest out. Pull that tummy in and squeeze. Two, one, and release, and come up to standing for me. Just three exercises left. You can do this on a nice wide lunge. We're gonna pulse for 12. Nice and slowly, come up, keep that back straight, really work in those quads. See how far you can get down to the ground. Keep it nice and low. Squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. And work it. Come on, guys. We're so almost there. Two, one. We're going to stay on this leg. We're going to extend it up. We've got 12. Use those abs to pull you up. Keep your back nice and tall and just focus on something in front of you. It's going to help keep your balance. If you want to make it less challenging, you can bring your foot down to the ground. If you can do all of it with your leg up, even better. Okay, you've done the 12. Next leg. Go down for 12. Squeeze. Come on, guys. You worked hard on the first side. We've got to do the same on the second. Breathe. Squeeze those glutes as you get to the top. Five, four, three, two, one. And extend that leg out. Concentrate. Think of something in front of you. We're just going to use those glutes to pull the leg up. Breathe. You've just got one more exercise after this. You can do it. Squeeze that core. Five, four, three. Nice and slow, two, one. Last exercise, you've got to give it everything. I know it's not your favorite, but you're gonna do it anyway. We have got 12 squat jumps. Let's go, one, two, nice and high. Four, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, and release. Oh, it feels so good. Feels good, you've worked hard. Give your legs a shake. Now guys, when you're working hard, you want to see the results, right? So it's super important that you have a post-workout meal that's really gonna maximize the results that you get at the gym. Two scoops of powder, water, shake it up. How easy is this? I'm even getting an arm workout in. Awesome. Oh, let's, let's just drink some of this stuff. Oh, that's my favorite. Oh, it's brilliant. Super important, guys, because what happens is, when you're working out, you're tearing your muscles. And we've got to make them stronger for next time. So make sure you're giving it the nutrients that it needs. Make sure it maximizes your performance and allows you to keep on being stronger and stronger. Look at these guns. Boom. 
Okay, let's do a nice little calf cool down. I want you to come over to one side, stretching out that inside leg. One of my favorite cool down stretches, but I really believe in this one. So inside the leg there, let's go over to the other side. Breathe in and exhale. Put your head down in between your toes, in between your legs. Walk it over to one side. Breathe in, breathe out. Coming into the middle. And breathe in and out. Come to the middle. Walk your feet in. Gently come up to standing. Okay, take your arms back and forwards. Give yourselves a little shake, a pat on the back, because you guys did awesome. My name's Rebecca Louise. It's been awesome working out with you today. Thank you so much, and I hope to see you guys again soon.